Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Red Arrow for part two of Texas. And Texas is cool. We love Texas, man. We left y'all last week having a bunch of fun, killing a bunch of stuff. Oh, dead down, baby. Like I said, we've had a love affair slash killing spree with Texas for many, many years now. And part one of Texas was no different. I killed my first two all dead. I don't know, I don't know a thing about these things, Braxton, but I do know my heart was pounding out of my chest. That's a good spike. And I stalked down the hall. I think I see her unless it's a black rock. That was cool, man, spot and stalk. We had a bunch of fun. It was just stupid. So is this a, is this a female or a male? I don't even know. It's a male. Tell, tell, tell sign. See, yeah. I told you. Last week we had a ball here with Braxton and Keith killing stuff in Lampasas, Texas. But y'all hang on to your seat, because here comes Texas numero dos. Well, last week we left you hanging a little bit at the end of the show, and I hate to do that, because we had some serious action. But we had so much action that we had to spread it out over a few shows. So when we left you, my man Keith was on a hunt and he's got a great big old all dad coming in. Keith's got him a big old all dad coming in. I don't know anything about him, but this is one that makes you go, ooh, that's a big all dad. <laughs> Most all dads, you're like, oh, dad. This all dad, you're like, oh, dad. Now Keith's gonna get an opportunity that this thing looks like a freaking rhinoceros coming in here. You talking about some dense bone and a tough animal. This all that is slightly quartering too, but Keith has tremendous confidence in his broad head and he slips this thing right in there behind the shoulder. Almost in the shoulder, but right in there behind the shoulder. We just shot a really big all dad. So Keith comes back to camp after he gets an arrow and it's all dead. Oh, what's, what's up, up Killer? What have you done? Holy smokes, and I got myself in trouble. Wait till you see the mane on this thing. It looks, it makes a full grown Clyde the horse look like they shaved you. No. I took the first opportunity I had, and it, you know, I think we're gonna be, I think we're gonna be good. I mean, I've seen both sides. You know, right, we're in the last fight you saw. Oh yeah, yeah, I know where you're at. And it's always good to get the consensus before you go look for an animal. <laughs> He's big. Look how he hooks back. Oh, oh God. Oh, smoke, smoke. <laughs> he can't smoke. Oh, man, yeah. Our consensus was he's not going anywhere. He was a little bit quarter and two, and let's just leave him overnight. Let's just go back and get him the next day. It's already late. We'll all hunt early in the morning, and then we'll go look for Keith's all day. I am so excited to get up the next morning. One, no matter what happens on this hunt, we got us a blood trail to get on for Keith's All Dad and the testing of the new Afflictor fixed blade. It's the third day out here in the hill country of Texas. We just parked a general. And uh, Keith shot a giant All Dad last night and quartered him to him, so we left it lay overnight just to be safe. We're gonna meet back up with Keith, but we couldn't pass up the opportunity to check the stand we've been hunting where there's a monster boar coming in. We're not gonna get in the blind where we saw the big hog and where we stalked him with a bow. We are going to sling an AR-15, a Diamondback 300 blackout, and I'm gonna carry my Hoyt bow, and then if we see this hog, depending on the opportunity, we're either gonna rifle hunt him or bow hunt him. We're gonna see if we can't kill a hog and then go back and help Keith recover his giant all that. I mean, this is all fair chase. This is 22,000 acres of wilderness, no zero fences. So let's go to kill a pig and we'll go catch up with Keith. So I've got my Diamondback 300 Blackout slung. I've got my Hoyt bow in my hand. I've got like nine, 10 arrows. I don't know how many arrows. Well, I got eight, something like that. <laughs> so something's fixing to die. So I've got my Diamondback 300 Blackout slung. I've got my Hoyt bow in my hand. I've got like nine, 10 arrows. I don't know how many arrows. Well, I got eight, something like that. <laughs> So something's fixing to die. Oh, big, big crap. It's all over the place. I think the predominant is supposed to be doing that. So we should be good. I love Texas. God, it just gives me goosebumps. First thing I see is a giant hog, but he's leaving. And I immediately just go, all right, he, he's getting out of Dodge. We don't have time to cut him off. He's on the other side of the fence. So I just shuck my gear off 
I leave all my arrows and my bow there and I just grab the AR and we go after this hog. I dropped him, come on, come on. Man, that's a big boar. We had to put down the Hoyt because he was getting away. Woo! Man, that's how to jack you up right there. Little AR-15 upside the snout. Ah! Sorry, sometimes the adrenaline, man, you get pumping. Like when you kill something like that size, you see how big a hog is? I mean, what else do people do if you don't hunt? It's such a wonderful, amazing thing. There's nothing more real. That's what kids need a dose of today. All these idiots on TV, David Hogg and some of these fools that are yapping and protesting and doing all this stuff, go get your hands in a gut pile, children. What's wrong with you? Get back to reality. Get your hands dirty. Plant some crops. Shoot a deer. All right, man, that might be my biggest hog I've ever shot. The, the size of his front is what's amazing, like the blockiness yeah. of him. He's, 30, he's, he's, oh he's, 30, he's 300 pounds, man. Let's get him up. Look at him. I smoke pulled him, though, son. Those might be the biggest cutters I've ever oh, killed on a hog. Now look at that right there. Look at that. Look at that, son. He put a hurting on you right there, boy. That's a big one. Watch it. I mean, look at that. Look at that. And that shield, his shield goes clear from here. It's that thick. I can get my hands under it. See that shield? Armor, man. That's armor for when they're fighting each other with these big old sharp things. And that's why they're such a challenge. And you better have a good broadhead if you're going to shoot one with a, with a bow and arrow. My man Braxton brings the general to make it a little bit easier on us to tote this hog and we're gonna have to make some more room in the general because we've got to go pick up this great big old all dad the key shot last night. The cool thing about this hunt is it was over quick, fast, and in a hurry, son. And now we can go meet up with Keith and get on his all dad trail. It blew through my body. Dang, it went a long way through. Yeah, because he was over 40 yards and that arrow went all the way to right here. Mm. That's that new K2 fix. Yeah. Did a number on him. But mm -hmm. I mean, it blew through him like butter. I mean, it didn't stop till it got way of fear. So we go to track this all dad and turns out there's plenty of blood everywhere and this thing didn't go 20 yards. Oh, look, I see him. Look, look right there. Right look at the he size did, of that thing, man. He didn't go anywhere. <laughs> he didn't go anywhere, man. Nah. I knew, we, I mean, you looked at the footage, but it was still the right thing to do. That's a perfect shot. It didn't really come out as far back as I thought it did. A little bit past the middle of the body, but. God. Dog gone, man. Yeah, you smoked him, look at that. Yeah, it's just a little bit quarter and twos. I don't know anything about it all, Dad. I know, all I know is when I saw this one on video last night, it just, you're like in awe of him. You're like, whoa. This is not like your everyday free range all dad. This is something really, really special in the key. This is for people that don't know, because I had I had no idea what to how to judge them or score them or anything. But this is a super, it's, super it's, special. It's special. Uh, anything you, you start getting over 30 inches, they, that's a really big ram. And mm -hmm. this one being 34. Yeah. Um, it's my largest one, and I've hunted these things for in Texas for a long time. A long time. It's gonna skull mount him, right? Oh, no. we're gonna full body mount him, <laughs> put him on a rock. <laughs> yeah, cause look at that. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Very Braxton, cool. Very cool critter. Thanks, man. What a critter. That yeah. is a beautiful. That's some. Beautiful that's a cliff gripper right there. So, 
Well, my man Keith definitely slammed a big all dad. This thing is record book proportion. So right where Keith killed this all dad is the same spot that they filmed the remake of True Grit. So the new True Grit movie was filmed right in the area that Keith shot his all dad. Traveling across the property in the Polaris, you have no idea the beauty of this land and the diversity of this land. I mean, you think of Texas and you kind of pigeonhole Texas as being a one kind of thing, like it's desert. And when I started hunting it several years ago, I realized that Texas is such a diverse land. And here in Lampasas, gosh, it's beautiful, man. Big canyons, but it also has oak flats. It's got the Colorado River flowing right by. The cool thing was we all killed so early, we had a few hours to kill before we had to go get in the tree stand. So we took the Polaris out for a little joy ride. So we get back to Braxton's place and get all our gear ready and we're about to load up in the Polaris and I notice something's missing. And it's kind of important. My bow case is not in the back of the Polaris. And I'm like, all right guys, like, yeah, where's my bow at, man? What y'all do with my bow? Y'all took it, y'all put it in the barn? You didn't put it in? You messing with me, you, you got it something? You hadn't seen it? You hadn't seen it since we was riding? I bet you I threw my bow out on the road. <laughs> it was in a soft case and it must have gotten thrown out somewhere along the road. I'm guessing on one of the big bouldery hill climbs that we did that day. So we have got now a limited time because we gave ourselves about 45 minutes to get out to the stand. Now we got to backtrack over this gigantic ranch that we rode on all day and try to find my bow and then hopefully it's in one piece and then hopefully somehow by a miracle of God it's still sighted in well, I'm not really worried about the Hoyt as much as I'm worried about everything on it being broken. It doesn't have any obvious signs of any damage. Not even, nothing's even loose. I tell you, if this thing is still sighted in, after getting thrown out of the back, hitting on rock, I mean, just landed right on that rock. Find a field tip, shoot that target. I brought my target with me so we didn't have to go back to the house. Keep your fingers crossed, because I want to go hunting. I don't want to be sighting any Brax so I can use his boat. It didn't explode. <laughs> Kill. Dead hog, son. And somehow, the sight, the rest, and the bow were all perfectly intact, and we're going hunting. But the problem is, now we're all the way on the other side of the ranch, we got to haul freight to get back to the tree stand where we're going to hunt these hogs that evening. So when we first got there, we hung a double set of X stands in this awesome spot. It's got a lot of hog sign around it, and we hung a Spartan trail camera. Now, what that does for us, it allows us to be able to go hunt and monitor this spot as if we were hunting it every evening with the Spartan trail camera. That's why I'm so addicted to my Spartan. Right on my phone is real-time pictures as critters come by, I get to see what's going on over there, and then you can pattern them and head on in and kill them, man. It's gonna be awesome. For the last couple evenings, we've got hog pictures coming in this double set, and we just knew that this evening was gonna be the perfect time to go get in that stand and kill a couple hogs. So somehow we make it to the stand before anything gets there. We're easing down the road and we get to the base of the tree, we start to set up to get up in the tree, and here come the hogs. That's them. They're coming, they're coming. Just be, be real slow, just go real slow. It's the ones from the trail camera. Just stay as close to me as you possibly can, and just go slow, slow motion.
two sows and a bunch of piglets come in, and I just pick the first sow out that I get a shot at, and I'm going to wear her out, son. So I smoke this first sow and knock another arrow. I reload, I draw. I'm fixing to shoot this hog running. When I touch off, I hit a limb and it shot my arrow straight into the ground. But hey man, I got one hog, had a lot of action. That was a fun hunt right there. How awesome was that? I smoked that first one, see me leader. I mean, you couldn't have seen me leader, but I, had to, I aimed at her nose. I shot right at her nose and she walked right into it. It was awesome. That broadhead zipped through her like she was a wet paper bag, son. Even though I threw my bow out of the back of the general, uh, we still got there in time, and it was all thanks to the Spartan trail camera. We knew right when we needed to be there because uh, it hunts for you, basically. That camera right there, hey, that camera right there, sure enough, while we killed some hogs tonight, because it watched the spot while we were, it was sending. I'm gonna show you this real quick, and then we're gonna go get up this hog, because I'm really excited about this camera. Right here is my Spartan app, and this video, is from, we got that video earlier. And that's the exact hogs we just killed. And we knew they were here because of the Spartan trail camera. I'm gonna jump in front of it and make another video real quick. That ought to be a pretty cool video. <laughs> We've been on such a killing spree, we haven't even taken time to acknowledge what the show's all about, which is red arrows. We love making red arrows with luminox and reflectors. It's looking like she probably, yeah, there's blood there. That's her. I knew she couldn't have gone far. We tried to follow her up the wrong trail. Turns out it was a trail with the blood all over it. There she is, boy, that's Smoke City. Pretty old Spanish oak for me to rest my bow on. There she goes. Big old hole in that hog, man. Look at that hole from here to here. Mm. What a hunt today. I mean, I killed a monster hog. Keith killed a monster all dad. We got to go four wheeling all during the midday. I accidentally throw my bow out of the general and recover it. It turns out it's shooting fine. We get to the spot we need to be just in time, smoke another hog. I'm telling you, man, it doesn't get much better than this. Tree stand hunt turned into a spotting stalk. But we're gonna call Braxton and get back. The body count is now up to six, I believe, this trip. We're gonna keep the party going next week. We're heading down to San Antonio to see some of my best friends in the world, the Anderson family. We're gonna hunt some javelinas. We're gonna hunt some deer. We may even kill some more hogs. Who knows what Texas holds for us next week. Y'all don't forget to go into our online store and show your love, show that you like killing critters and you're unapologetic about it. You don't care what those PETA freaks think about us. Appreciate y'all. Better on. Keep doing what you're doing, baby. Turning arrows red. <laughs>